Today, climate change and its link to conflict is dangerously overlooked. One of our concerns is that it's not taken seriously by key international actors. One of the worst news that came out of 2021 was climate stresses and, and climate change and how that induced or further undermined a number of countries that were already at the cold face of, of conflict insecurities. Extreme weather patterns, issues around drought, flood, rising insecurity around famine. And when you overlay this with countries that are affected by, by conflict, you begin to see a real tsunami of crisis affecting these countries as well. And one only needs to point to South Sudan, where we're seeing displacement as a result of flooding, leading to populations going into a violent war zone. And in Nigeria, we've seen the herd of farmer crisis um, as a result of climate stresses and, and degradation. So it's a real kaleidoscope of, of, of stresses already in, in very dangerous conflict zones. What needs to happen now, um, especially as we're several months away from COP27, which is happening on the Africa continent, which itself is a continent that faces severe climate stresses, is to make sure that there are opportunities for serious conversations on the sidelines, high-level conversations between African leaders and other um, key international and partners. Without this, there is no serious way in which to address the real issues that are threatening a number of countries, particularly in Africa, that are seeing the consequences of climate change, climate stresses and climate insecurity. This is an important moment, particularly for Africa, um, to define what the agenda is, to define what the top line um, issues. One of the key sort of instruments that we see is an, an early warning system that helps a number of countries, a number of um, conflict affected countries think through or be able to forecast themselves um, a number of these difficult trend lines around um, climate security and climate stresses. I mean, in the end, what we're talking about in a number of these countries is the ability to have the capacity to not only warn, but also to act in time and to put in place key management systems to be able to enable those countries to respond. There's one thing to remember is that the whole focus on climate plans and gas emissions remains incomplete if we don't deal with climate security issues. Without addressing that, we'll continue to see livelihoods threatened. Um, we'll continue to see aggravation um, in a number of conflict affected countries. And we'll continue to see large spread competition for scarce resources and inability um, for conflict affected countries to deal with these crises going forward.